All right, what have we got on the anvil? Add two block to armor, two block to shields, conductive to armor, haste to a structure, not haste to a uh, item of clothing, sadly. Be with your friends. Right, what do we got over here? Uh, cards hold our future or our doom? Okay. Got some very interesting ones showing up here. Okay. And another one. Okay, I mean, that's quite possibly one of the better rolls that I've had <laughs> up to now. However, also not the greatest, because this costs gold to use. Could be highly upgraded, though. Uh, I mean, it's a legendary axe, though. In terms of sale value, this is it. I think I can, I can live with that. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take that to sell. Alright, don't necessarily want to deal with you just yet. Uh, want to bring out Stinky, want to bring out Lanny. Yeah. Now, sadly, I'm losing a lot of energy by having all of this in my inventory right now. Um, well, a lot of potential energy, that is. Alright, first, let's get a bunch of trouble for you over there. There we go. Taking you out entirely. Now I can go for the Honey Badger next turn. Uh, well, I guess I could use two coins. I should have used Lenny, though. Uh, I keep forgetting. My bad. Uh, let's get Stinky to apply some status effects. Pop that there. Alright. Don't want you doing any damage to Coco. Let's continue to build up the status effects. And one and indeed two. There you go. Very nice. You're just going to hurt yourself. And I could bring it down by 10. Sure. And then it finish you off. Okay. There we go. Starting to go well. This is now glued in place, but it's hardly the worst. On use at six block. We need this one for research. No, we don't. We've already got it. This would give us the amethyst buckler. I need the amethyst for that. Uh, okay. We have got an engine wand. Each turn, if connected to one mana, removes one mana from the connected mana network and deals three damage to all enemies. Actually, possibly the better option here. Frustratingly. Um... Probably the better option. Oh, yeah. Can I upgrade that in any way? I can upgrade it. It's a magic wand weapon. Might be able to make it much more powerful. Sure. Let's go back to the anvil and see what items you can give to a weapon. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll have a look around. Okay, we've got an elite fight, and I would like to get through that in order to get to the shop. Hello. Today is not your day. I'm sorry to, to tell you. It's going to be bad. There we go. And we obviously want Lenny to generate some more mana. And sure, we'll get more status effects. Yeah, no, I think he was the right call, I think, because I can just dump energy into status effects, so we can scale the status effects really, really nicely. We are going to debuff you to high heaven. Uh, right. Need at least one extra mana there. And then use that twice. There we go. Oh my god. The debuffs. Glorious, glorious debuffs. Uh, can I not place that there? Oh, I can't, I, I can't put it on anchored. Interesting. Uh, we'll pop it up there then. I guess, technically, Anchored is already a uh, negative effect. Yeah. 
Uh, unfortunately, I should have considered that. That's now going to kill. Oh, well. We might have been in a position to get a little bit more for, for Lenny, but there we are. Uh, is there anything I want to pick up here? No. This would be a saleable item, but no different from this one, which honestly I'm starting to consider getting rid of. We'll see. Right, let's go to the shop. Hello. What? A leash. On scratch, this item is used. Uh, what? Oh. Right. So instead of using my energy to activate Stinky, I could instead use my energy to scratch, which would trigger Stinky automatically. Huh. Now that is an interesting one. That is a very, very interesting one. Either way, I want to sell this. Thank you. I, yeah, I definitely want to pick this up. There we go. On scratch, this item is used. It'll probably still take the energy to use it, but uh, that is amazing. Summon pets will all deal five damage. Uh, that doesn't seem useful, especially considering the on scratch item I've got there. Ooh, now, I've got four energy currently. Scratch the enemy for three damage costs one energy. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't it didn't summon Stinky. Sadly. Okay. Duly noted. Right, you're asleep. Uh we've got a little bit of damage incoming, but nothing too terrifying. Um now, this is the other thing. Will this actually cause Stinky to do any more of attack? Yeah, it will. So even Stinky can be out of energy. So that is the better way, once Stinky's in, in the fight, to uh, engage. Duly noted. Duly noted. But I do have to summon Stinky first. Pop it there so it's not disabling any particular item in its entirety or I could pop it there and get rid of the, the shield but I believe this enemy can poison so the shield may actually be useful for once uh, we've got I need you to protect once more I'm going to do a fair wallop of damage here and again then we will use Lenny to take you out I can't scratch anymore, sadly. But I can top up the status debuffs over there, which is a useful one, I think. Yeah, here comes the poison. However, I'm not in the mood for dealing with it, so womp, womp. There we go. Now, uh, you be fine as long as I can take one of these out and I see no reason not to be able to oh do I oh I I used two energy on that that was a that was a misplay on my part a decent misplay but oh well it did add extra weak so still means that Coco's not going to take damage which is the main thing but it does mean that sadly missed our opportunity there go finish them off not too bad and get a level up as well beautiful Ooh, okay so we've got a big fin fish uh, heals 10 hp adds five rage to self must be played on a pet heals a bunch of hp adds three block on summon pet gains plus two to burn Ooh. Uh, pet gains plus one block item above is disabled <laughs> I don't think we want that one. Um, not unless I move things around quite a lot. Which I suppose I could do. Strictly speaking. Uh, but this is a uh, given. There you go. You're now doing four burn. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I could... 
sure we'll we'll give it to you since it'll buff up your particular style of engaging. Um, I may as well give that to you. Uh, okay, not bad. Still going well, I think. Okay, I can't take anything more. Uh, we want the experience always. What have we got over there? Curse chest. Not for us. Not for today. Right, you're going to open up with poison. Don't know how I feel about that, if I'm honest. I think that might be a bit of a scoundrel move, honestly. Uh, never mind, we have disabled you. Hooray. Right, let's just top up there, take you out with Lenny, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, that would now take two energy. Uh, instead, I'm just going to scratch multiple times, though you're already going to almost die. So I'm going to save that. And instead, we'll have uh, have Lenny take you out next time and uh, continue to use Stinky around. That leash is amazing. All I want to do now is get the Brass Knuckles so that our scratch attacks are even more deadly. That would be wonderful. Uh, is this actually better now? Technically does more damage, but Stink... Well, actually, with the three damage on top of Stinky's five... Yeah, it still does one more damage, but Stinky will add more burn, so... Uh, it actually works out better for me to just use all my energy on Scratch. Just keep going. We're getting an extra... Uh, five, five, open, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, we're no, not getting the extra anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Um, I might even want to get rid of the dagger, though. At this point, using... Yeah, I think we may sell the dagger as much as I've upgraded it. That would give me an extra two spaces. I'd need one more space. and I could get rid of the helmet, too. Uh, and that would give the the mouse wood an extra energy. Like the amount of damage we're outputting now is just shocking. Unfortunately, you're going to die this turn, otherwise, because uh, of the the fire buildup. Uh, we've got skull goblets when defeated adds four poison to all enemies. I mean, you know, it's not too terrible. We've also got the machete. Deals damage to all enemies. Honestly, that is a bit better for us, though. Can I pop that in there at all? Um, you know what? I'm going to move this around. And then, yes, we are going to pop that in there. Not one usually for planning to lose, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, the Ethereal Staff, we're just going to sell that. I don't think there's anything else we want to pick up. No. Alright, let's go ahead and make our trade. Ethereal Staff, Dagger, Helmet. You won't take it. That's fine. Don't need it anymore. Uh, we're just going to shimmy these things across over here. We're now getting an extra two energy each turn. That is absolutely marvellous. And we can have all of our pets together. We can even tuck these two up top. That works out really well. Maybe even tuck it in there. Okay. I know, I know, I'm, I'm giving up a load of block, but I think this is actually a pretty solid build. We have now properly gotten to the point that we're, what I would imagine is the case, we're using Pocket the way that Pocket is meant to be used. Uh, we're having Pocket rely on her friends. All right, let's use up the basic energy here. Uh, I should have done that the other way around, but whatever. There we go. And uh, that's a decent amount of damage coming towards Coco there. Uh, yeah, did, did that kind of the wrong way around, but that's fine. We'll use the last scratch then. There we go. Okay, this time we're going to weaken you massively. Uh, we will still need to give you a little bit of help. I would really like to... Actually, we didn't need to do that. I could... I was Because I was going to be able to take him out. Silly me. Oh well. We can just invest the rest in stacking up fire. 
Right, let's reduce your potential block. I'll hold on to you for now. Five uses of scratch. Oh my lord. That is just broken. Absolutely broken. Wonderful, but broken. Uh, we were lucky and we got a bird chant. Each turn at six block. Also, I need to sneeze again. And I'm back. Uh, we've got the Orc Sork Axe. I would have loved to have sold that. Sad. And if I take it, well, I guess I could just bring it along. It isn't the worst thing to bring along. Oh, ha -ha! I've been rewarded. Uh, let's see. If there is an item along a diagonal line, this item is disabled. Each turn adds two energy. Is it possible that I could do that? It might be, actually. Pets can't... Uh, sorry, ring, accessory, rip. Pets can't hold. Must have a friendly on both sides. Each turn adds one energy. Uh, I, I guess that would mean the pets aren't able to hold any of their own inventory. That is such a, a downgrade for us. Like, no. 100% no. But... To make this work, is there a version of this that I could I could do? Do I even need that though? There is the the big question. Because I could put it there, could put this down here. It's no longer getting any kind of benefit, and these two are much less capable as a consequence. Um. This is giving me 8 block right now. I could... Be rid of it. Gives me a tiny bit of value, but I could then have this over here. And this is going to give me an extra 2 energy. I've now got so much energy for using with Stinky and Scratch. that I honestly think this build is broken <laughs> and I'm mostly just not carrying things this is amazing eight energy <laughs> if only I could have more pets it would be even more broken all right let's just wallop you bring down the uh, incoming damage a bit uh, we'll get a little bit of extra protection there and now, I would very much like to remove you out of this conflict. So let's just start stacking this up. Uh, I can use this once, twice. There we go. Wasn't the best use of, of Stinky, honestly, just because it... Stinky was mostly doing dots that never got a chance to trigger, but still allowed me to use Lenny to take out the end anyway. We're up to 84 gold. Maybe I should have had one of the uh, crazy powerful like axes that uh, requires gold to function. Might not have been a bad, bad choice. I could use two energy here, bring it down. Uh, yeah. Oh, we still just shy. It's fine. Gotcha. And... Oh, honestly, I could use the club again. Just don't need to. There we go. And Lenny finishes them off. Okay, that was wild. Up to 97 now. Uh, on kill, gain more gold. As if we need it. The scimitar... Not a bad weapon. Decent amount of damage output, certainly. But not as good as the club. For my purposes. Uh, I could... Trying to find places that I could just sneak items in right now. I can't have that there. 
could have it here, and it functions okay. But I wouldn't be able... Well, actually, I could put that there. Could move you up. And I could have the scimitar over here. Ah, but I would lose energy with the mouse... Mouse would, yeah. No, I think what we had before works better, ultimately. Yeah, there's no reason to, to mess with this. Uh, do I have... Well, I don't think you're going to go down, so I think uh, instead we'll bring this. Sure. Give me even more gold. You'll give, give me four gold on a kill. No wonder we're money bags right now. Locked chest. Uh, was there anything we wanted to put on anything at this point? We've got so much money. It seems silly not to. Uh, haste of structure, conductive to armor, two blocked to a shield, two blocked armor. I mean, I've gotten rid of a bunch of armor, so it kind of makes sense to. Sure. There we go. We're now getting 12 block off this passively. And I still have a shield that I can use if I absolutely need to. Ma and Pa. Aw. I only just noticed that. That is so ridiculously cute. My lord. All right, then. Enchanted Swamp Finale. Up against the speaker. Go. And just use up your attacks. Start stacking damage. And the remaining six points just go into stacking Stinky's abilities. 28 burn, 14 poison, first turn. Also three weak and three slow. And they're asleep. That is obscene. In no uncertain terms, obscene. Sure, we'll just stack this all the way. I see no reason not to. There we go. Down to 10 hit. What? What? And this is only the, the second boss. Uh, your energy starts at 1 and increases each turn. That would not work with this build. That would be awful. All shields get this effect. On use, all adjacent weapons are used. Uh, no. And on take damage, each turn effect are applied to get... Uh, hardly. None of these are good. I'll pick one up for now. And we'll sell it. There's no other reason for me to have it. Uh, I can send them back to Havasak Hill, actually. Oh, what the? Oh, hero, discover 700 items. I'm, I'm glad you approve. Uh, adds 10 poison to all enemies and 3 poison. This is actually quite a nice one. Giant peach for each adjacent consumable plus one block. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to keep it for now, and then I'll just get rid of it later. But the Bramble, the Bramble is actually nice, because that's 10 poison to all enemies. That's that's legitimately a very powerful item there. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to send that back. Same with this. Same with this. I'm going to lose one energy a turn, but that's uh, destroyed when used. Never mind. Never mind. I guess I could keep this. Yeah. We'll just send those back, because I don't need the, the gold. We are generating enormous amounts of gold at the moment. Alright. I can't believe this is going to end up being one of the most powerful runs I've done, and half my backpack is empty. The power of friendship, everyone! Oh, good lord. Uh, well, we want to go for these. Hello. All right, we're up against a changed cultist. The transformation has begun. Is that a... Is that... Have you got, like, sheer claws? My lord. Uh, don't want to deal with your ice block, frankly. So how about... Man, you're going to use weak as well. Well, first, let's get our friends in here. Uh, you're, I should have used the sleep on you, thinking about it. Oh, well. Let's just... Apply all of the debuffs for now. There we go. Let's 
It's gonna suck, but oh well. I think it might disable this. Oh, it's disabled both of them. Oh, that was awful placement on my part. I should have put it over the armor. Uh, well, it's too late now. Let's just try and get you down as much as I can. Yeah, there we are. You're going to die this turn, quite convincingly. And you're dead. Well, actually, you might be able to do it. Yeah, because you're... You were going to do five points of vampirism as well as the 11 points of damage. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Uh, when out of use is destroyed, but it costs more to do. It's fine. Let's get you a little bit more protection. Uh, right. Uh, let's just stack up the damage. A messy engagement because of the misplay there, but it's not the worst, ultimately. Uh, another skull goblet. Uh, I need the amethyst, not the sapphire. Nothing here is of value to me. So, good time to use this. Uh, hmm. When taking a lethal hit, this effigy is used instead. I mean, it's rare. I could sell it, if nothing else. Uh, Mask of Pride. The Bowtie Collar. Uh, that just becomes silly at that point. <laughs> I love it, but it becomes very silly. Uh, we'll take this just so I can sell it. Of course, I've had that in the wrong place. <laughs> yes, I have. There we go. Everything is now better. Avak was a dumb. If you got to move the wand back, it's fine. We're already so powerful, it doesn't matter. Right. Ooh, kibble. Also, the sapphire dice. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sapphire on the brain. Spear dice. On alternate use, destroyed. Add to your combat rewards. Eh, uh, not really something I need. Um, I'll bring this along, though. Got the magician's blade. When mana th flows through, plus one damage this turn. Not useful for me, sadly. Would love to upgrade that. We've got quite a lot of gold to use to upgrade it, so, you know, there is that. Let's see what you've got. Poison to a weapon, two burn to a weapon, two block to armor, two block to a shield. Now, what would I prefer? This is going to hit all enemies. Would I like a little bit of poison on everyone or a little bit of burn on everyone? Stacking burn or one poison? Stacking burn. That is going to be quite brutal. You do help. Thank you very much. Hello. Right, enlightened cultists. I uh, would like to reduce your outgoing damage. That is good. I need to remove you because you're going to be uh, powering them up quite a lot. Not something I want to see. I'm actually going to spread around this poison and fire a bit, I think. Uh, and then we're just going to dump the remainder in here. That'll bring you within Lenny's kill range. So we'll just do a little bit of extra damage over there. Okay. One. Two. Three. Beautiful. Hats, hats everywhere, but not a one to wear. Uh, let's see what we've got. Lock chest. And a new friend. Who we got? We've got Jerry. His fluttering wings lift the party. Uh, I mean... No, it, honestly, our group right now is just too powerful. Blinky, energy pulses in his tail. You cannot believe your eyes. Hmm, two energy each turn. Actually, not bad. Or creepy. Something even scarier is under his hat. I... Uh, uh, 
Not sure about you, my dude. Very concerning. Um, we don't really need to bring out along any new friends, and I'm fairly certain bringing along a new friend is going to reduce our... No, it doesn't. Okay, well, Blinky, you're coming along then. More friends the merrier. Uh, at this point, I'm going to move that along so that I can have Blinky over here. That will still be active. That is no longer active, but it's still active there. So, yeah, this still works. Okay. Perfect. I think. Maybe. More or less. I popped it over there and I rotated this up. It would work a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Still getting loads of energy from this build. And we've got even more friends. Though, at this point, it feels bad, but the friends are just there to carry things. Um, no, thanks. We don't need to do any kind of dodgy trades with you. All right, then. Uh, frozen Mage has been unfrozen. Damn it. Um, I would like you to go to sleep. And now, I would like you to be in kill range for Lenny. It's going to cost me two energy to do it, but that's fine. And now, we are just going to dump a load of nastiness on you. That'll be fine. That puts you within Lenny kill range. I wonder how much gold we're going to end this run on. Honestly, sky's the limit at the moment. 14 damage output is actually a little bit scary. So I'm going to leave one energy behind, just in case. Well, you're already, already going to die now. Never mind. No worries. You're going to die from the poison, much less the uh, burning that's going to happen afterwards. Alright, uh, let's go for these. Open that up a little bit. And at this point, I can shimmy everything over if I want to. Yeah, nice. Works quite well. All right, still only two energy, but that's fine. Uh, I've got a key I can pick up. Sure. And we've got two spare spaces if I really wanted to bring something else along. For example, this. Yeah, sure. I'm okay with that. I accept. Uh, nothing else up there. Not looking here. What? The Feather Wand. Pet gains plus one to mana cost. On use, deals ten damage. Hmm. Not useful for me. Sadly. Maybe to sell at some point, but uh, definitely not, not a useful thing for me to bring along. Alright, down we go. Not a useful thing for me to use, rather. Also, spring is finally here, and my room is super warm. Give me just a moment. And I'm back. All right, then. We've got gold and health that are going to expire in 21 and 32 turns, respectively. But honestly, we don't need any of them, so I can take my time and have a look around. Haste to a structure, energy to clothing, conductive to armor, poison to a weapon. Don't think either of these can hold it. No, but you can hold it. My lord, the amount of energy this run has got. Absolutely crazy. Right, we've got the Newt Oathbreaker, the Change Cultist, and the Chosen Cultist. Want you to go to sleep. Bring Stinky out. Want... Hmm. Items disabled? Uh, snail Helmet? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that sucks a bit. Okay, well, I'm going to need to get you a fair bit more protection, then. And quickly remove this scoundrel over here. 
Uh, let's just dump all my points into scratch now. That'll do. And we're going to dump the rest in here. That's unfortunate, but oh well. I'm just going to rush through this one rather than risk anything, considering my uh, main damage reduction weapon is kaput. Uh, you've got enough... Well, let's give you a little bit more protection as well. Oh no, will the poison be applied to... <sighs> you didn't consider that. I... Ooh... I kind of want to know. Well, I mean, to be fair, the hazards get applied to me rather than to my pets. So that is yeah, a questionable one. Honestly, don't know. It's hard to know. Tunk. I'm not getting the gold, but I'm not trying to this time. Yes, it does. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, you need to die this turn then. You needed to die this turn anyway, but you need to die before the turn ticks over this time. And we get gold. Hooray! But that means we don't need the shield. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Shimmy these back. There we go. It's a little bit better. Right, we've got the Ring of Rage as... Rage to self, and I need this one, so we are bringing that along. We've also got the leak. When an adjacent weapon is used, plus one to damage. Ooh. Ooh. This way, both of them are going to get the... Well, no. Only one of them is going to get the upgrade. But, which one? I kind of want it to be you, but to do that, I would need to sacrifice one of the bowtie collars. So, no, it's going to be... What don't I need here? What can I afford not to have? I don't think I can even fit that on you. No, I can't. Well, drat. Because that's an amazing item. No, I don't think I can make that one work. So instead, it'll have to be the loss of two damage overall, but you'll have scaling damage. Oh, damage until used. Which makes sense, because, um... It would mean I would stop using Lenny. No, no, ultimately, I don't think that is... It sounds really good, but I think it's uh, it would be a mistake for me to, to use this. Shame, but there we are. Yeah, there we go. That still works for me. Right, finished. Let's have a look at what there is to see. I can't see the shop yet. Interesting. Do I have a key with me? Yes, I do. Ooh. Glove of Knives. On use, deals two damage to all enemies. On scratch, this item is used. Yes! That was so worth it, the first one that we've unlocked. The Tattered Collar. On scratch, scratch once more. These claws don't retract. That is such fantastic luck. We got exactly what we wanted. There we go. Now everything is where it needs to be. Everything can now power off the right things. Oh, that's fantastic. And that is also getting the extra damage from this. Oh, it's actually armor. Never mind. Huh. I mean, it's also a weapon. So if I popped it down there, yeah, it increases the damage output. Doesn't have any upgrade potential, though, which is a shame. But still, very nice. That means my Scratch now does three damage. Uh, sorry, six damage. And I gain an extra two block. Oh, that's wild. Okay. 
you know what? You can just follow me for a bit. Um, let's lead you on a merry chase. i uh, got another Skull Goblet. Might as well take it. Got some energy here if I really want to have it, but uh, I've already got more than enough. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Nope, oh, don't catch trade. There is nothing you could hide from me. That being said, no. Random trades, no. Okay, adds one rage to self. This now makes sense for me to do. First, we've got to bring you in because I need you to come in first so I've got the mana available. And then I can use your attack to regenerate... Uh, it's not the Ring of Rage, I think we're just going to have to sell. It's not going to be uh, any particular value to me. Uh, rather, we are going to keep it. I'm not going to sell it. Naughty Avak. No, you need to take this back to Havasak Hill. Duly noted. Uh, we're just going to let... Well, you know what? We're, we're going to attack. Uh, going to pull you down a bit. We're going to get a lot of annoying stuff coming our way. That's fine. That being said, got quite a lot of uh, attack potential here. That is ridiculous. Three damage to all enemies. I missed that part. It's to all enemies. Oh my lord, this is broken. Wow. At this point, the Ring of Rage actually does start to make sense. Right, I'm going to lose out on a bunch of energy here. Uh, I'm going to put that one there, actually. And then this can go... I guess I could put it... Well, if I put it there, I lose all of the extra energy. This does kind of suck. But I think... You know what? This works. You're dead already. Um... I am going to need some extra protection on you. Take you out with Lanny. Take you out with Lanny. Get a little bit more protection going. There we go. Yeah, having the extra energy is so much more valuable than the extra damage output because energy is damage output for me at this point I still managed to kill uh, a bunch of them with uh, with Lenny uh, box of nails don't need it got an extra key uh, that I actually will take but that's the only thing I will take oh I should have used the dice my bad Right, I want you to not be there anymore. Uh, who do I want to take out first? Probably you. I uh, want put you to sleep so you're not charging them all up. And he can finish you. And he can finish you. And we'll get a little bit of extra block there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I missed up, uh, messed up with uh, getting the damage down there, didn't I? Let's make sure that you have got plenty of block this time. Right. Uh... Doesn't quite bring you within Lenny's kill range. Now you are. And again. And you're going to die to the poison. You won't, but that's fine. There we go. Right. Get items. Uh, I've got the smelt. Adds eight haste to self. 
We've got the little buckler. Let's have a look at you. No, we don't need you. That's a lie. You keep lying to me and I keep falling for it. Uh, when a wand kills an enemy, add two mana. Don't need it. Must be placed on a defeated pet. On use, revives pet with one health. Pet gets zombie. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Uh, I believe there are items that... that give pets special abilities if they're zombified but i don't think we want that you'll heal on summon it's gonna take a little while to get you fully healed up though uh, yeah uh, the the block is too useful for you to have that's how you're going to be okay uh, i could actually swap that out for some healing that makes more sense now. There we go. Alright. Finish choosing. Oh, I should have taken the smelt. Oh, I should have rolled the dice too. Well, let's just wallop you. Summon you in. I want you to go to sleep. Scratch. Kill. Scratch. Kill. You're going to be a little bit more of a problem to kill. So I'm just going to buff you. And then we're just going to dump the remaining points into you. Yeah. You are dangerous with the uh, scaling rage. But I should be able to take you out this turn. There we are. I uh, want a little bit more protection here. Uh, actually, let's pull down your damage output again. Yeah, that's a lot better. And uh, we'll just dump scratches. Now, if I could get this upgraded with Rage itself, or put Rage onto... Oh, honestly, Rage on the Gloves of Knives. Uh, I can't do it because they can't be upgraded. That's a shame. <laughs> Well, actually, no. It's probably for the best. Realistically speaking, that would utterly break the run. Uh, but if I could somehow get rage on the ring, some way of maintaining the rage that we had, then using the ring occasionally would make a lot more sense. Ooh, the happy buckler. As five block, plus one to the energy cost is combat. When attacked, minus one to the energy cost. Uh, not really that useful for me. Uh, the Broken Ring. I mean, I could have regen, maybe. Uh, alternate use. I think that just changed what you had in your... Inventory. Uh, no, it didn't. Did Oh, did I need to use that in combat? Oh, maybe I did. Well, either way. Uh, maybe it'll apply for the next fight. I don't know. Uh, wow, this is actually quite a large level. Once again, I want you to go to sleep, Meteo. Thank you. So make sure we've got a little bit of extra mana available. Just bring down your uh, incoming damage. Make sure that Coco is safe. Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that. Sadly, you're not going to be able to take them out. That was a bit of a misplay there, but oh well. Right, you slept through the turn where you were going to hit me with the really nasty, huge icicle. And now we can just dump the remaining energy we have into just regular attacks. And you're dead this turn, so I don't need to worry about that one either. Another warm stone. I mean, that'd be wonderful, but can't happen. Ooh. As, oh, no. It adds to, to burn to enemy on use. Because it's not on attack. But that would have been quite amazing. Although, uh, I suppose that would only have come to two bur uh, four burn in total again. That being said, I could have moved that down. Pet gains plus two burn. Actually, ooh, let me just check something. 
I'm not going to change things out regardless. No. It isn't on attack. Because it said pet gains plus two burn, I thought maybe it would be per attack. But it really would be quite, quite uh, powerful if we did that. Another friend? Well, hello. Uh, how about you can sleep? Don't want to have to deal with that. Right. Uh, let's reduce outgoing damage. At this point, I probably only need two spare applications of... Well, actually, no, I don't need any... Well, one spare application of uh, protection here. Maybe not even that, though. Go. Uh, and we can just attack you. Not terrible, I must say. Alright, let's remove you. Thank you. And then you as well, please. And then finally you. There we go. 176! Another engine want. I mean, at this point, it's starting to maybe make sense for me to shimmy around and bring this in. I don't think having the other engine wand set up would make sense. I don't think that would work for me. As one hits the south whenever someone is summoned. Oh, I'll bring it, I guess. No, I don't think having a second engine wand would make sense. Yeah. Okay, that's all we need to do. Uh, at this point, it makes sense for me to just go and grab as many bits and bobs as I can in order to sell. Uh, we'll move some things around. Battle ring. Ooh. Now that is a possibility. That is quite the possibility right there. That scales better than the ring of rage because the ring of rage, you'll lose rage each turn, but this will permanently, well, for the, uh, as permanent as the combat lasts. Uh, for the, that duration will permanently increase the damage output of those weapons. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, and finally, we have another Swamp Buckler. A Tribal Axe. Got a lot of gear here that I want to sell, and it's going to be nearly impossible to get rid of all of it. Uh, that can go. This can go. That's just an uncommon... That's a rare, and I'm keeping that. Uh, I guess. There is a Lance legendary item there. Also lightning. Also legendary. With two upgrade spots. Uh, more block, potentially. What is your health at this point? I can't even see your health. Can I view your card? There we go. You are fully healed. But in that case... I will. More socks. Look, I've got so much money. Why wouldn't I? Uh, did we have anything I wanted to sell? Because it was a h highly uh, uncommon. Actually, I don't think I can sell anything. No, I might. Right, final friend then. You know, you know, we're gonna bring along our adoptive sister. Is there any point in me having a key? I actually don't think so. All right, we finished choosing. Let's head down to the final layer. We've got over a thousand food waiting at home for us. The frozen heart finale is here. Right, at this point, anything that serves no purpose can be dropped in order to gain some extra energy. Uh, the battle ring doesn't need to be here, really. Um, 
Ah, it's two energy. There we go. I don't like you not being nice to your friends, though, so let's do that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to swap you guys around. There we go. All of the friends together. As it is meant to be. Getting two extra energy there, one extra energy there, two extra energy there, and one extra energy here. My lord. The scratch damage. Okay, the dark lady. And weird invisible snakes. And circuitry all over the place. Electric energy flows through her body. Very well. Um, how about you go to sleep? There we go. I shouldn't have done that first. That was silly of me. Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three. Let's get a little bit of extra energy. Actually, I can just keep going with this. But why not, I guess? Uh, Alright, just let's dump loads of damage in there. We are dealing a wallop load of scratch damage now as well. Because that rage is affecting base scratch damage too. That is bonkers. So yeah, maybe the rage is the, the right way to go because that affects also the, the basic scratch. And as long as I use Lenny a couple of times a turn in order to keep stacking it, yeah, this actually goes really well. We've already pulled down your health so far. Uh, right, Lenny needs some extra points in here. Uh, you know what? We're going to use one, two, three. That'll do. Scratch is now dealing 10 damage. 20, in fact. Wow. Oh. Uh. Very well. <laughs> it appears that I underestimated you. 600 hit. Wow. I don't like that. I'm gonna be honest. Yep. I'm gonna charge up and leave one left so that the uh, engine wand gets used. And we'll just deal a load more damage. We're dealing 26 damage a turn at this point. And we've got enormous stacks going on here. Uh, when your turn ends, replace with a malediction. On use, that's two poison to self. I'll pop that one right here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. Uh, I don't actually think they're going to be an issue. Gotta charge everything back up to full. Up to 13. Very nice. Uh, get that going. I mean, I... Could use Lenny to take them out, but it seems pointless at this point. You're not even going to survive this turn. There we are. And the final level up. Oh, actually, no, not the final level up. We've still got to get that one last square, apparently. Okay, we win. Uh, we can take whatever we want. The brutal bomb. I really should have kept that moth bomb. Can be placed in the same space twice. Each turn adds one extra energy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, this is glorious. I love it. All right, let's see what we got. We got the golden shell. There we are. All right, well, that was Pocket, everyone. I don't think Pocket took one point of damage through that entire fight. How she managed to lose the purse the first time, I have no idea. Pocket again. Drift through. There we go. Come. Pop. No. Pop. Damn it. Pocket. No. Bleep bloop. 
biological organisms are doing the questing. What is my purpose? Bleep bloop. I'm sorry, but I needed to know how Pocket played. My lord. Hey, Puss. I'm still training to beat you. I'm, I'm fairly certain that you could... I... I... I the most broken purse build I've ever had came nowhere near how broken that was. Crate, on the other hand, yeah, no, Crate could have destroyed you several times over, and the whole universe. I'm fairly certain Crate is the singularity personified. However, as far as other biological organisms go, yeah, I'm going to say the pocket managed to win. And this has taken two hours to record. Why am I surprised? I shouldn't be. All right, this is going to have to be two episodes, but in the final episode, well, the one after the next... <laughs> The, the, the second final episode, which will probably also be two episodes considering, we will finally, hopefully, track down Louis and maybe even Prada to boot. But that is going to be it for me from Purse, from Satchel, and from Pocket. In the beginning of the next episode, we will go ahead and spend all of this. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, but, uh, well, I guess from your perspective watching this video, it will be the next episode, because this is the episode you're going to watch after this. Ah, I see, uh, time is weird. Tenses are hard. Nevertheless, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do consider letting St. Algorithmus know by massaging those lovely buttons down below. But until next time, and as always, from myself, Purse, and of course, all of Havasak Hill, do take care, everyone. <laughs>